Hello, everyone, and welcome to another lovely Algarve hike. Today, we're uh, just outside of Old Yao, and uh, it took a little bit of finding to get to this place. It's uh, You can see behind me, we've got a gate that uh, basically just got a little door that you go through. Pretty rustic area around here, a few uh, little homes, a few little restaurants. This hike is an interpretation hike. Lots of stuff going on in this hike. There's like 15 different things we can check out here. So it's going to be quite interesting. It's not very long, but there's lots to see. Okay, well, we made it about mm, 50 feet into the uh, trail so far. The interpretation center is right as you walk in. And it's closed today. It's a weekend and a holiday, so it's closed. But I was looking, the, uh, it's open till 5.30, 9 to 5.30. And tickets are 250 If you want to go in, 250 per person, euros. I'm not quite sure what it has in it, but I would assume it's got a little bit of information about the region and some of the stuff you can see here. Uh, there was also a little uh, fish uh, farm just as we walked in as well. So let's go on to the, I think the first thing coming up is the pine forest. So let's go on to see that. Okay, well, we've... Um We've done maybe a half a kilometer or so so far, and it hasn't been marked very well in the in the part of signposts, so to speak. But there has been quite a few plaques, so the trail has really been quite different. There's been a bit of grassy trail, a little bit of dirt trail, a little bit of uh, cement trail. It's all over the place, really. But I think because it's a fairly urban area, there's been little paths that have been created throughout the 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 landscape so you, you know you kind of have to keep an eye out on these signposts but they're nice because they give you a little bit of information about what's happening around you and now we're going to head down a, a fairly looks like straight wide road into the uh the salt, salt marshes i believe Moving right along, we've now hit the old tuna fishing boat behind me. I actually expected it was going to be recovered and all, you know, like a museum. But it's just a little little tuna fishing boat. It's pretty rustic. There's a nice long pier to walk out and look at the Ria as well. It's a beautiful location. The pier's a little bit rustic too. It could use a little bit of repair. But it's still beautiful. And it's, you know, it's all Yao and we're having a great time. <laughs> so let's continue on. Well, we've uh, come across a couple of really, one's full of history, one's really beautiful. We've got the Roman salt tanks that I'm sitting on right now, and they go, they date back hundreds and hundreds of years. They were used to preserve fish, salt fish, where the dried salt fish or codfish comes from these days. And we've got a, a freshwater pond, which is quite rare down here. So the birds really, really flock to it. You, it's, you can see a lot of different birds. You can hear them in the air. It's very peaceful here. Very, very beautiful. So definitely make it to this part of the trail if you come out this way.
Well, I'm going to end today's hike here in Old Yao or just outside of Old Yao to just let you know that it was a very, very pretty hike. We had lots of diversity going on here. We saw the, the Rhea. We've been inland. We've seen the salt marshes. We've seen some ancient Roman ruins. So it was really, really interesting. And it, considering it was only three kilometers, it, it was very nice and not difficult to walk. I mean, there was no hills at all. A little bit difficult from the sign perspective, but like I mentioned, as long as you see the, the markings, the posts, which there were quite a few of, you know you're on the right track. It can extend a little bit further than three kilometers if you wish, and it's not going to bring you off the track too far. Highly recommend you come out this way. It's another beautiful hike here in the Algarve. See you again on Algarve Channel.